Hello, I'm Pluto Burns, and today I'm talking about Rodea the Sky Soldier, which is a game that maybe, maybe you could play, if you still have a Wii U. Does anyone still have a Wii U? Yes, but Rodea the Sky Soldier was the brainchild of dear old Yuji Naka, one of the creators behind Sonic the Hedgehog, and was originally intended to come out on the Wii back in 2010. For bullshit reasons, that didn't actually end up happening, and we got a combo version where the Wii U and the Wii versions came out at the same time. Except the Wii U version isn't actually the Wii U version, it's a port of the 3DS version, and it's also shit, and I'm talking about the Wii version because the Wii version is the only one worth any of your money. So what you want to do is you want to buy the Wii U version and just throw away that Wii U disc. I just put the Wii in and have a jolly old time waving the flicky bicky bicky. So yes, Rodea the Sky Soldier. Rodea is a Sky Soldier. He's also a robot and can fly. So he's got that going for him. The way you control this game is actually you move him without using the nunchuck. So yeah, if you don't have a nunchuck and are from some parallel universe where Michelangelo also doesn't like pizza, you can play this game! What you do is you point where you want to go, hold down the B button, and then flick the remote and he will fly in a parabolic arc towards your location. Or, you can walk around on the ground like a ninny. Yeah, let's just look at me walking around. I'm fine. I don't have to wear- OH GOD! Yes, but the uh, controls of this game are- the only thing I've heard it compared to is Knights into Dream, which I don't have any experience with. And the way that you uh, spin into these floating gem things and follow them along a trail is very similar to the light speed dash in later 3D Sonic games. Now the gameplay is... Uh, it's... it's kind of got a zenness to it, okay? You, you get these big floaty platform maps, which are not like Super Mario Galaxy because gravity is one way. And then you just fly between them and you shoot the fish robots with the gun gun that you maybe got got because it's a power up up. Or you can just spin dash into them. And then you travel to the end of the level, and you, then you're graded on how fast you completed the level and how many power-ups you collected. Which always bugged me, because if you're taking the time to collect the power-ups, then it's, you're gonna be late on the timer, so you can never get them both at the same time. And then there's some 2D mini-games, which I didn't get any footage of because they're stupid and dumb. So Rodea the Sky Soldier is an interesting game, unlike anything you've ever played before, and if you can get it for cheap, it's actually kind of fun fun. It's not great though. The art style is pretty weak. I mean, it is a Wii game and hell, I've seen Wii games look better than this. The story is dumb and practically written by a child. Oh, and if you're playing this game, turn on Japanese audio. Oh my god, the English voice actors are so bad. We're getting really 90s anime dubbing up in this script. Excuse me, Mr. Shawartsu. I expressly told you to wait for me. You're mean. And the art direction isn't great, and the boss fights can kind of be epic, but at the same time, this flying system doesn't work so well for long distance flight. It's also pretty shitty for short distance flight, where your camera can get stuck on stuff. Oh yeah, the camera is controlled by pointing at the edges of the screen. Yeah, that's a good idea. In all honesty, it works pretty good when you're just flying through the air, but when you're on the ground and you're trying to move somewhere specific like, it's a pain in the ass. But for mid-range flight, it's actually pretty fun to just hop from enemy to wall to ground and just keep the combo going and you do get a sense that you are flying. So yeah, if you can track down a copy of the Wii U case, which is actually not as hard to find as you might think, no one bought this so your GameStop probably still has the one copy they received, then yeah, you can have a jolly old time with this game. Rodea the Sky Soldier gets a maybe out of 10.